let's create a really great effect using animations on scroll. You will love it and this will make our website look absolutely stunning. And what I'm talking about is this. So these items here have this very cool animation and they fade in as we scroll to their position. And the same thing here with the iPhone which comes down from here and also create this cool effect. And then here the same thing with the city images. And we also have this nice animation here. You saw that. This is to call uh, the attention of the user. So let me now show you how we can do this with jQuery and CSS. So how are we going to achieve those great animations? Well, to start with, there's a very cool uh, CSS animation framework because powerful animations can be done just using CSS. And I will show you some of them. So we have a whole lot of different stuff here. This is like really endless. Let me just show you some of them. Bounce right in. All kinds of stuff. So the one that you saw was this. The pulse, then we saw the bounce in up. And we saw the fade in. And those are the ones we are going to use. And we're going to use jQuery to actually trigger those animations. So we will now use again the Waypoint plugin. So animations on scroll. And in order to do that, we need to um, again here in the HTML file set where we want that animation to happen. So if you remember in the first lecture we used the waypoint right here, right? So here was our waypoint. Now what we want to do is to animate these four columns here basically, right? So as you saw these columns will have an animation. And in fact, it is this entire row. So we will just say WP for waypoint 1. So this row will have our first waypoint and our first animation. Alright, so let's do that. And just as we did before, we now select waypoint 1 and then we say waypoint and again we know the direction but in this case we will not use it actually because this animation will only happen once and how does this animation actually work with CSS? Let me go back here so all you need to do to animate an element using this animate CSS framework is to add a class animated and then the name of the animation we want. For instance fade out or fade in which is the one we want here. So all we need to do really all we need is to add those classes to this exact element that we select here. I actually forgot to do that. So, and now it's really easy. We just say add class as we did before. And then the classes we add are animated and fade in. Really, really easy. So let's check that out. And in order to do that, we actually really need to reload the page. So let's close this. Okay, we forgot to do one thing here, of course, which is this need to be invisible before we trigger the animation, right? So otherwise it's impossible that this fades in because it is already visible, okay? 
So back here, we need to change that in the CSS file. And I will do that down here. Let me just grab a copy of this here. And say this is for animations. Okay, so JS, let me pay one. Now there are a couple of ways of doing this. And you will maybe remember one of those was display a none, which we used to hide the navigation menu before, but that wouldn't work in this case. In this case, we have to say opacity is zero. So pretty straightforward. If we set the opacity to zero, that element is not visible. And then once the JS waypoint one class also has the animated class, then we want the opacity back to one. So how do we do that? And that is actually a new selector that we didn't use so far. It's like the end selector. So what I did before was like this and then animate it. So this would be animated inside of the JS waypoint one class. But what I want now is that this class should have these both classes at the same time. So this is the selector we use. So that element has a JS waypoint one class and the animated class at the same time. And then I want opacity back to one. And now, of course, the most important thing we didn't even do yet is to incorporate this um, animation CSS framework, right? So let's download that. And here we are. So Omnifood, it is vendors, and it's CSS. So let's put it here. So now I have the animate CSS file here. And let me then incorporate it here, of course. And it could be right here because it's also in the vendors folder. And it's the animate file. Great. And now this will work. Let's see. So we come down here. And okay, the animation happens exactly when we hit this part. So the beginning of the waypoint one uh, class, which is like here. So we, of course, don't want this to happen this way. We want this to, to animate when it's like here in this position. So we should set an offset to this code, to this waypoint, such as we did before. And we do this right here. So offset and let's say 50% because 50% would be half of the page. And I think that would be great. And we actually don't want this semicolon here. So let's check this. Here we go. Now it nicely zooms in as we scroll to the element. Very nice. I really like this effect. And now I'm going to do the same thing with this image. And this image should come here from the button all to this place. It creates a nice effect of an image sliding in. And then I will do the fade in with these four images, so with this whole column. And then I want to grab some attention of the user because there is a cool effect for that here in the in the animate library. It's like this, right? See it? So this is called pulse. And now this should be pretty straightforward. I'll just copy this a couple of times. And rename this three and four. So 
So this is the first one we already did, this will be the second one. So the image, these will be the cities, so fade in is just right. And this will then be that pricing plan which will pulse. And the other one is, let me see, bounce in up. Oh, maybe that's a little too much. I would say fade Fading up. Okay, fading up is cool. So fade in up here for number three. That's not correct here for one number two. So let's now set those waypoints. So second is not, not here. And this image is right here. So I want this to be the JS waypoint 2. So the image. Now the cities. In fact the entire row such as before. So this is the JavaScript waypoint number 3. And then so where's this pricing plan that I want? It is plan box. Exactly this one. So here I will add JS Waypoint 2. 4. And now, here in the CSS, we need to come back down here and do this one here for all the waypoints that will fade in. So, number 1, 2, and 3. Because number 4 does not fade in, right? Number 4 just has those pulsing effect. So, two and three. So, let's check this out. Here we are. There comes the second one, very nice. This is also very nice. And this pulsing effect. So all of them work exactly the way we want this. Now there's only one more thing that I want to show you with this. And for instance we saw that this animation was a little bit slow. So we have a way to change that with pure CSS once again. And what I'm talking about is animation, animation duration. And I will set it to one second. Alright. And the same thing of course for waypoint 4. Waypoint for animation duration one second. And I will also prefix this. And you see now we have those WebKit prefixes. So let's try that again. So these animations are a little annoying because we have to reopen the website all the time. So this is faster now, yes you can see. And this was also a little bit faster. And I think also this one. So this was triggering animations on scroll. You can do all kinds of effects with this. This was just to show you the basics of animations. You can do all the stuff. And in fact you can also use um, this animate CSS framework completely without jQuery. You can just add those classes that we add um, in HTML and then those elements will animate in the beginning. Simple as that. And so we have only one more jQuery lecture left. And so in the next video we will make our navigation responsive because that's an important part that we left out as we make our website responsive. So see you there.